Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin and let's talk about Moodle, especially Moodle Calendar. How do I import an Outlook Calendar to Moodle? So, first of all, usually the calendar, we uh, show it as a block. If it is not on your Moodle, for instance, so let's go on edit mode. So let's move myself here. Delete calendar block, for instance. So now I don't have a calendar. Just come here, add a block, calendar. And here you will have your calendar. And let's move it upstairs. Whoops. Okay. Now we have a calendar. So first of all, all assignments, everything created on Moodle with a due date, it will be automatically added to your calendar. Attendance, everything will be added to your calendar. So if I come here, attendance, 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 so attendance, and here some Excel simulation and so on. So here we have some uh, everything added on Moodle and when you create assignments, they are added on Moodle as well. However, um, not everything that we do in class we add on Moodle. For instance, exams or uh, projects and you want to add them on your Moodle calendar because it can be shown to your students too. So it's not only for you. For instance, I may have heavy Outlook users, so everything is on my Outlook calendar. But for my students, it is useful to add them on the uh, Moodle calendar. Then they cannot tell you, oh, professor, I have no idea that this project, the due date was yesterday and so on. So it is on your, sorry, it is on your calendar. You can go there and you can see it. So how do you do that? So let's go on Moodle, sorry, on Outlook. And here I create a calendar called Moodle because I don't want to mess with my calendar. So there are some assignments here. And if you want to import from Excel into Moodle, there is a video about that. And the video is in our video description. So you can go there later. So how do we do that? It's easy. First, save it. It is not export. It is save Canada. If you go on export, it will not work. So here, save it. And OK, I will call it Moodle Canada. I will replace this one. So OK. Now I have a file called Moodle Calendar. So I can close my Moodle. And now let's move myself here. Import or export calendars. That is what we want. Or you can go on full calendar. You will also have this option. So import or export calendar. But to check it better, let's open the full calendar. And it's all my curses. I don't want to see all my curses, but we can do it later. And here, import or export calendar. And then we can commit here, import an external calendar, or here, import calendar, the same uh, page. You can export, and you will do the opposite process. So import calendar, calendar name, Outlook, for instance, import from Canada file. And then let's move the file. Oops, sorry. Let's move the file here. Moodle calendar. Or you can go and choose a file. So we are adding an Outlook file. 
And then here, type of event, it is not user. If you go on user, it will be added to all of your curses. It will, will not be separated by curse. So I want to add it on curse. So here I have a curse called Moodle. That is where you learning Moodle. So this is my curse and now import calendar. So 18 events were imported. So here, Outlook calendar, uh, because I imported once some days ago to test it. So here, uh, we have our Outlook calendar. So let's check calendar. And this is only my curse. Uh, so I can go on all curses, that is a standard, or this curse, Learning Moodle, it is this one. And here, the first event that we import is on September. So let's move it, August. Some attendance that we have video about that too. And here, for instance, September 4th, uh, 7 p.m. and then uh, search Outlook. And here, another one, cost accounting projects, uh, event search Outlook. So these are the imported files. So here we have all of the, so another homework and so on. So we have our events here. So here is where we can find our Our curses. Okay? Easy, huh? Oops. It is this one. Okay, guys. So, this is how you can import an Outlook calendar into your Moodle curse. It will be shown to your students, so it will be easier to manage your curse. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a very nice day and God bless you.